Hello everyone, Helen here. I'm back again for a, another Christmassy podcast uh, and uh, I'm really really glad that so many of you have been enjoying having a bit of a sing in my last couple of podcasts and as I've said before I am going to just um, put together some videos where it's only the singing and not me chatting but I'll do that a little bit nearer to Christmas. In the meantime we'll just have one or two a week and uh, one or two a session, should I say, because I'm doing it more frequently than weekly at the moment. And uh, yes, yeah, so thank you. And thank you for everybody who's told me where you are in the world that you're singing from. And I'll I'll list those places um, maybe in a few days' time. It's really interesting uh, to see where everybody is, uh, whether you're in the UK, the same as me, or somewhere else in the world. It's, it's really brilliant. It's a really nice way of feeling like we're one community. And I think when you sing along, even though you might not be singing at exactly the same time as somebody else, it still feels like it's something that we're doing all together. So, uh, so yeah, a bit, bit of singing today and I'm going to chat a little bit about playing the piano and um, I've got a, a little video I made of my um, Advent Teddy Bear Club. So let's get on let's get on yes <laughs> um so yeah so uh some of you have asked me you know how old i was when i started playing the piano um uh, i was actually nine and uh i'd been playing the violin for about a year before that before i started piano uh, but and which i didn't really enjoy i have to say although i played it for years and years uh, I'd, I didn't want to play the violin. I, I was given the opportunity at school when I was about eight and I wanted to play the cello but they told me that no there wasn't a cello small enough for me and I'd have to have a violin. So, so I was stuck with the violin for years and years of not really enjoying it um, even though I loved music and when I started piano I loved playing piano uh, and it wasn't until I went to university and I joined the folk dance society and started fiddling instead of just trying to play classical violin that I found that was the thing that I really enjoyed. And over the past many years, I've played lots and lots with for Morris dancing and uh, yeah, and thoroughly enjoyed it. In fact, when I was at university, I was even in a band called Stomping Duck. <laughs> And we even had some gigs. <laughs> we used to play for Kayleys and things like that. So I had a lot of fun in the end uh, playing the violin or fiddle, uh, folk fiddle. Uh, but yes, I was nine when I started playing the uh, piano. Well, well, my nine when I started having piano lessons, should I say. Uh, one of my early memories is of listening to the radio on a Sunday afternoon uh, to a programme called Sunday Half Hour. And it was just all hymns, really. And I used to love sitting at the piano while it was on and picking out the tunes to play along. And obviously, you know, proud parents thought, oh, you know, she looks like she could be good at this. Uh, so they found me a teacher who was actually the organist at the church that we went to at the time. And so, yeah, and I never stopped after that. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's one of the things that I am so so thankful that I can do. I'm thankful that I had good teachers and that I wanted to stick at it and it's just opened up so many opportunities for me uh, which I'll not go into now but um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's something I am just so grateful for. So yeah so that's me and piano. I've been playing for a long time. <laughs> And I still make mistakes when I'm playing and, you know, um, um, I've never become really a performer standard of uh, piano player, but, you know, I can play well enough. So. <laughs> although, although making the videos, as I have been for the Christmas carols, uh, you wouldn't believe how many takes uh, I have to do sometimes of some of the carols. Because I'm trying to make them as close to perfection as possible. And, uh, you know, well, that's, it's silly really, isn't it? I'm sure you don't mind the odd, odd bum note. <laughs> um, the carol books that I've been using mostly, well, one of them I can't use. My absolute favourite and my first ever carol book that I had was given to me on my 13th birthday. 
uh, by an auntie. And she even wrote in, this, in the front, uh, you know, on your 13th birthday. And that's been my favourite carol book for all the years since I've had, you know, since I was given that book. Um, but it's gone missing. It was missing last Christmas and it's still missing. And I'm very sad about that. Um, and I saw one, I saw a copy of it on eBay and they were asking uh, £45 for it or something. <laughs> So, yeah, it's worth something, isn't it? <laughs> so, anyway, well, I think it was an early edition of the one that I've got. I don't think mine's worth that much. But it's worth a lot to me. I can't find it. Anyway, hopefully it'll turn up one day. Uh, so, my other favourite carol book is this one here. Uh, it's called Edward Heath Carol's Joy of Christmas. And it's it's a fantastic book. The arrangements in it are really, really nice. And there's also a little bit of a history of of the different carols that are in there and it's a really good selection it hasn't got every single one of my favorites in but it's got an awful lot uh, so that that's a really lovely one and then the other main one that i use is this one called the joy of christmas as well this is this is one uh, published in um the usa and um, so it's got uh, tunes in it um to some of the well-known carols which are different to the ones usually sung to in the uk so and there's there's three main ones. There's Oh Little Town of Bethlehem. The tunes are different. Um, uh, Angels, Angels from the Realms of Glory. That's what it's called. And then Away in a Manger. So uh, um, as I've been recording things, I've actually been doing the kind of the commonly used USA melody, and then I've been doing a recording of the UK one. So that when I do a big compilation of all the carols. Uh, wherever you are in the world, hopefully one of the tunes will be familiar to you. But uh, yeah, so that, that's a pretty good, good book as well. And one or two other books that I'd kind of dip into. Uh, but uh, th those are my main ones. So yeah, I think uh, that's enough chat just for the moment. Let's sing. Let's sing a nice uh, upbeat carol together. And this one is Ding Dong Merrily on High. And it's actually the tune was comes from the 16th century, and it was um, it was in a, a book of French dance tunes called Orchisography, and it wasn't until 300 years later that somebody whose name has gone out of my head now uh, <laughs> wrote some mock medieval words to it anyway, uh, and they're great, and it's just great singing along with the chorus to this one trying to remember to take a deep breath at the start of the Gloria. <laughs> so enjoy singing along with Ding Dong Merrily on High.
well if you've had a bit of a sing there I, I hope you feel really good um, and singing really really is good for you there's been ever such a lot of research done on it and one of the things that's been found is that when you sing it releases um, endorphins though, and serotonin and dopamines those happy chemicals in your body and they just boost your mood and um, just yeah they're just really good for your feelings of well-being so if you are feeling a bit down when you probably least feel like singing I have to say if you can get yourself to sing it really does have a positive effect so you know if, if you can just try it it's uh, it's really worthwhile there's lots of other health benefits of singing it's supposed to be good for your uh, circulation because of the kind of extra oxygen that you're taking in and it it, it can aid pain relief and it can um, be good for um, developing your memory all sorts of things I'm not going to give you a lecture on it right now but it really is good and one of the things is that whether you think you're good at singing or not the health benefits are the same so you can sing in the most raucous out of tune manner as long as nobody else is complaining about it um, and it, it just it still benefits you uh, you know so yeah so keep on singing is my motto uh, <laughs> so right so what I'm going to show you now is uh, where I've got up to in the teddy bear advent um, uh, box that I got that I bought from Paula from Stitched by Mrs D and uh, I have been loving I decided just to open it, it's it's a 12 day advent calendar and I decided just to open on the 1st to the 12th of December I couldn't wait <laughs> um, and so I've done a little video each day that I've um, opened something and made it into a, a little video for you so if you have got one of these uh, also same as mine and you don't want to spoil any surprises because you haven't got as far as my day six so mine's days one to six um, then just have a look down in the timestamps below this video and just uh, get yourself back to the uh, <laughs> the next the next section so that you don't um, have any I'd, I would hate to spoil spoil the surprise for anybody so anyway come and have a look in my advent teddy bear club box
So isn't that just lovely? And I just love the little message that's been coming in with each item of clothing and oh, it's lovely. So I'll, I'll show you the rest of that when I've got to the end of day 12, put that together into another little video for you. So uh, I think it's time for another carol and this one is probably a less well-known carol. It's one of my absolute favourite ones and it's hardly ever sung or heard. I, I, I don't know that I've ever even heard it on the radio or anything. It's called The Birds and like a lot of carols that we sing it's based on an old Czech folk tune and then at some point, you know, many years later somebody has added words to it. And I love this one because, um, well, I mean, I love the tune. It's a lovely, gentle tune. I love it that it's about birds. Uh, and I, I really, really like the words and especially the the third verse. So the, the, the ver there's three verses. There's one, one about a cuckoo, one about a, a pigeon, and then one about a dove. And the, the verse for the dove, uh, it's so lovely because it's, it's just like a dove cooing. Um, it says, oh, you he cooed so good and true, my beauty do I give to you. Uh, and um, oh, it's just, I love all those oohs. I love the sound of the words. I and mean, that's probably why I like writing my rhyming stories, because I love the sound of the words. Uh, but this, this is a beautiful carol. And I put the words on the screen for you anyway, even if you don't know it. Because if you listen to it more than once, you might be able to start joining in. So let's listen or sing along to the birds. Okay then, let's just finish off with one more carol. Uh, I think we'll have O oh, Come All Ye Faithful. That's a, re that's a really good one as well. And uh, this, the origins of this one are, are fairly obscure. Nobody really knows where it comes from. Maybe it's just be, it was just written by an anonymous Cistercian monk in France, uh, you know, many years ago. It was originally written in Latin and then uh, the, uh, an English Catholic priest called Frederick Oakley then took took that Latin song and translated it. Uh, that was about 1814, I think, and made it into the, the um, lovely carol that we know today. So, a bit more singing. Are you ready to sing? Come on then, come and sing along with me.
Right then, it is time for me to say goodbye to you today and just uh, wish you a, a lovely time until I see you again. Um, keep nice and busy, uh, take good care of yourself, keep on singing and I will see you again very soon. Okay then, bye. Thank you.